Hi there, this is Alvin and welcome to kickstartcommerce.com. In today's tutorial, I actually want to share with you how to request and grant access to your GoDaddy um, account for its products and services. And so there are many different situations that you may come across or encounter in regards to allowing either a developer or um, an account manager um, you know, within your company the ability to access your account and to manage products on your behalf. And so sometimes or oftentimes what happens is I can give you a couple scenarios here. The first is being uh, that you're a web developer and so you have customers or clients and so you want them to be able to manage their own account but they don't necessarily care to have their own GoDaddy account. That being said, you can set them up um, with access on your account and then basically grant them specific uh, rights or I guess you'd say uh, accessibility rights to uh, various um, products and services. The other side of that is, let's say you're a company and you don't necessarily want to give admin access rights uh, to a given person or a group within the company. So you want to be able to have the company, the company have its uh, domains and other web services there, but you don't necessarily want that to be associated or uh, tied to just one person. So you create an account on the company's behalf and then you're able to use or delegate access to um, employees and only delegate access to given types of services. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you how to do this in GoDaddy. And so if you go ahead and go to GoDaddy, I'm already logged into my GoDaddy account. And this is the basic page for that you'll see for products. If I had other services associated, it would list those services below. I do have one domain um, for this account that I use uh, strictly for tutorials. That being said, go to account settings and look for delegate access. Go ahead and go to the delegate access page. And once you get there, it will show you two options. One is accounts I can access and then people who can access my account. So if you're the one that's needing access to someone else's GoDaddy account or products and services, you would essentially select request access. You're gonna to need to know the account holder's name. So whatever the name is on that account, as well as that account holder's email, and these must match. Um, and so then what you're going to request is the access level requested either to products, domains, and purchase uh, information or just to products and domains. And so this, um, you know, this, this gives you the ability, the first one gives you the ability to view, um, see and manage products and domains with the ability to purchase. This other is just products and domains uh, without the ability to purchase. You can also click the learn more link and it'll show you. In most cases, you're just gonna wanna request access for products and domain and then submit that request. Once you submit the request, that request is then sent to the account holder by which that account holder can actually just click approve. It's a simple uh, approve button that's sent in an email or they come uh, or they log into their um, account and then based on that ultimately then what happens is that they're able to approve your access so that's if you're requesting access to someone's account now if you're wanting someone to have access to your account so we wanted someone to have access to this GoDaddy account then we would uh, come here to the people who can access my account click the grant access enter in that person's name and their email address, and then basically give them the access level requested. So remember again, um, and purchase means that they can purchase on your behalf. If you're only wanting them to manage your products and, and uh, domains, then only select ac uh, products and domains, which basically gives them access to manage products and domains only. Uh, that being said, um, that's pretty much it. You then invite them. They receive an email by which they click approve. Once they click approve, um, they'll likely be asked to uh, set up a um, login to the account uh, or they'll just strictly use their email and their password. Either way, they'll need to set up an account that's associated to the email address that you 
uh, use for them. So, and if they already have a GoDaddy account via their uh, that same email address, then it those products and services will likely show up in uh, the products and services, and there'll be a delineation. You'll be able to tell they'll be able to tell what's theirs and what's uh, yours or other accounts that they're able to manage. So. That being said, that's pretty much it. That's how you can request access as well as grant access to your GoDaddy account. Um, I hope that this tutorial helps you out. Last but not least, please uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I basically deliver a video every week. Sometimes it's about search marketing techniques to increase your search rankings um, across major search engines. Other times it's about WordPress tips and tricks. Uh, so that you have an optimal WordPress website. And then other times it's about domain name uh, strategies and just domain name uh, knowledge in general um, to grow your business. So that being said, please visit kickstartcommerce.com. In the right-hand side, sign up for this daily scoop where, like I said, I share tips and tricks uh, on a need-to-know basis of how to grow your business. Um, so that being said, I hope that this tutorial helps you. Thanks, and that's all for now.